Hey guys, and welcome to a looting guide for the OFZ 30mm shells. So, with these shells, they can spawn in a few locations. They are mainly a reserve spawn though. Starting off, they can spawn in hidden caches, buried caches dotted around the map. There are 39 on shoreline. There is... 18 on interchange and on customs and around about 6 or 7 on woods. If you'd like to see guides for these, they will be up in the icon at the top right hand corner or in the link in the description. They can also spawn in duffel bags that are dotted around the map. They are quite rare in those duffel bags do spawn almost any item in the game. And same with dead scalves that they can spawn. They are the ones that actually spawn um, at the start of a raid, not actually the ones that are um, that you kill, like you know. Um, that spawn around but saying that they can actually spawn in the bags of those scavs that spawn so if this is the case you can actually get them on your scav runs when you first do your your scavs so when it comes to doing your scavs make sure you always scav on reserve you can get them on other maps but i actually found all of my shells for my regulated materials on scavs that i only ran on shoreline last wipe shoreline sorry on reserve last wipe they can also spawn in sturm and stash on woods it is quite a common spawn apparently for finding the rfc shells so starting off on reserve right here we are next to one of the bunkers this is e2 now they do spawn in all of the bunkers that are dotted around the map there are a few over this side and a few over on the um, east side as well so right here they can spawn on these crates and make sure you check everything when you head inside you can also find power cords if you look around if you need power cords they can also spawn around tanks. So these aren't actually tanks. They're like, I don't know, whatever people are going to call them. I'm going to get corrected in the comments at some point, but they do spawn around these things. If your mother's most likely going to call it a tank, then they will spawn next to it. So these kind of things. Um, here's another bunker on this side. So these are the two that are the underground bunkers on this side of the map. So they can just spawn along inside here. Make sure you check everywhere. They are quite big as you saw beforehand, so they shouldn't be that hard to miss. They can also spawn in the repair center, which is the night buildings over here. So in Black Knight and in White Knight, they do have a chance of spawning. Usually it's around the ground level next to where the actual repair center is. So they can spawn next to these kind of tanks. So they do just spawn on these tables here and here. Um, and so on and so forth same in the other one on the opposite side there are tables that just dot around this tank right here um, on the other side and they can just spawn right there there is a chance of finding it in the rbst room which is this room at the back over here the key is currently going for 230k it is kind of worth it the, the rfz shells do sell for 100k a piece so to be honest with you if you find two then you do make your money back I do actually have a full key guide on this key though, which will be in the icon at the top right hand corner and in the link in the description. Here you go, you can see one of them has actually spawned inside this room right here. That is a common spawn as well as on this table right here. But make sure you check all around just because they do have a, spawn, a chance of spawning. Here's another one over here again. So there you go, there's two for your task right there. And don't forget to check this weapon case, there is also always a chance of finding a red rebel inside that giant green case if you have seen my video. But you can see that we just got two inside that room. But make sure you check every single tank you see. There's another tank at the back over here. There is a lot on reserve, it is a military base. That was the name for this map before they changed it to reserve. But these kind of tanks right here, these are the tanks that actually shoot them, funny enough. But they can also spawn next to like the giant six wheelers that are dotted around the map as well. Hopefully you guys found this guide useful. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I do stream over on twitch.tv slash piranha underscore seven days a week sudden 8am GMT. Don't forget to check down in the link in the description for our spreadsheet. It does have all of the tasks, guides keys extracts everything down there that can definitely help you especially at this stage of the wipe guys have a great day and i'll see you in the next video